What's up, rock stars and pop stars and rock ladies and pop ladies? This is Alex Bourne coming at you from the Midwest, and I'm working on one of the last songs on the new One Direction album. This one is called She's Not Afraid. And the intro is super easy. It's two chords. We're going to use power chords here. I'm starting on the fifth string, sixth fret. And you want to go. And that would be two frets lower right there. And then start right there. And end where you started. So. And you just do that all the way through the intro and the verse. And when you get to the pre-chorus, you're going to do some things that are a little bit different. Um, you're going to start with an F power chord. That would be on your 5th string 8th fret. And then you have a D flat power chord. So that would be on your 5th string 4th fret. And then you need an A flat power chord. That would be on your 6th string 6th fret. So. Um, if you want, you can get uh, a bigger chord or an F minor chord. That would be 8, 10, 10, 9. So you F, and then D major, that would be 4, 6, 6, 6. And then, uh, did I say A flat before? I meant B flat. Sorry about that. So that's B flat right there on your sixth fret. So all right. And then the chorus is next. The chorus uses uh, some of the same chords as before. We have an E flat, a B flat, and an A flat. And the way you want to play it, you want to go. So I'm with E. A flat, back to E flat, and then B flat. And you're going to want to do that three times, okay? So play that progression three times, and then it changes a little bit. You want to go. So instead of going back to the E flat, I went to C minor, or just C power chord instead. So. So, and then that would be halfway through the chorus. And then um, the other half is the last progression that we just talked about. So you want to, uh, sorry, it's not that one. It, they alternate, okay? So instead of only playing that progression the fourth time, they play it the second and the fourth time. I'll show you what I mean. So the second half of the chorus would be like... And then after that, you're going to tag the last uh, four chords. Tag is, uh, is just a term that is used for a part of the song that um, repeats like a, a piece of the last section of a song, either for emphasis or you know to add extra time and stuff like that. In this case, it's the chords underneath the punchline in the song which is a, a fairly common technique. So you're gonna, you're basically gonna copy and paste it onto the end of the chorus. So pretend this is the last time. Okay, so you got. There's the last time and then you're gonna go. And that would be the tag right there. Okay, after that you have another verse, another pre-chorus a chorus and then it's time for the bridge the bridge is pretty easy you know, you got see a flat power chord a bar of that the b flat a bar each you know how to do it and then uh you want to do b flat for four bars so one, two, three, four, 
three, four. And then at that point you would play a, a very low, mellow, soft pre-chorus and then bring it out big for the last chorus and then you're out, okay? So any questions, leave a comment. Um, you can email me, tweet something at me, whatever, however you want to get in touch with me, I, uh, you're welcome to do that. So talk to you later. I'm Alex Bowen saying cheese.